Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing a couple of the dinners that I made this week. I hope that you find some inspiration. I know that I love watching these videos, so I hope that you do too. And please give it a thumbs up if you like it, and I will for sure make some more. So the first meal I'm going to be starting with is turkey meatballs and veggies, and I'm just going to throw this all on a few sheet pans and throw it in the oven. So I'm going to start with about a pound of ground turkey um, and you can use whatever meat whatever veggies you want this is totally customizable do whatever you want <laughs> so I'm going to start with the pound of turkey I'm going to season it with some turmeric some garlic powder salt thyme Italian seasoning um, rosemary and red pepper flakes And then I am also going to add some oat flour just to thicken it up. And the last thing I'm going to add to this mixture is some Dijon mustard. So after that is all mixed up, I'm just going to pat it out into the little meatballs and put it on a sheet pan. Next thing I'm going to do is cut up the sweet potato. So um, just make sure that your knife is sharp. Mine wasn't, so I was having a little bit of trouble cutting this up. I'm going to throw the sweet potatoes and the meatballs in the oven first because they are going to take the longest to cook. So I am going to um, drizzle some avocado oil on the sweet potatoes and then top them with some garlic powder and some chili lime seasoning. And then I'm putting them in the oven and I believe it was on 450. And I'm not exactly sure how long I cooked these. I just kind of kept checking them. The same with the vegetables um, until they were just to the doneness that I wanted them to be at. So I'm going to cut up the rest of the vegetables. Um, I have some mushrooms. I also have some asparagus. And then the last thing I'm going to put on here is this rainbow cauliflower mix from Trader Joe's. And then I'm going to drizzle the veggies with avocado oil and sprinkle them with some salt and some garlic powder. And this is the finished product. I had to pull the asparagus out early because it doesn't need that much cook time or it'll get mushy. Okay, I'm back with my second meal for this week and I'm going to make chili in the crock pot. So I have some ground beef that is thawing that I will cook up and throw in later on. But right now I'm going to throw in the crock pot these bell peppers, half of an onion, um, 
kidney beans. I'll probably do three cans. I'll see. I might just do two. Um, a can of crushed tomatoes, two cartons of bone broth, some garlic, some frozen corn, and then cumin, chili lime seasoning, salt, turmeric, and garlic powder, which might be weird because I'm putting garlic in, but I love garlic. So I'm going to chop up the vegetables, put them all in the crock pot, and throw everything else in, and then later on I will cook up the meat and I'll show you how I season that and throw that in. Okay, so it was later this day and the ground beef had thawed out, so I'm just going to throw that in a cast iron skillet with some avocado oil at the bottom. And then I'm going to season it with chili lime seasoning, some cumin, garlic powder, and also some salt. I'm just going to cook that up and then I'm going to add it to the chili. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you and I will see you in my next video.